The Simpsons, I think, is defined so much by its hybridness, by its everythingness. And, you know, if you ever wondered, well, who could do everything to the extent that the show could do everything, more than anyone else, that person was Sam. Jim Brooks still has more Emmys than anyone else in the history of television. And, and Matt is Matt. He's the creator and he's brilliant. But it's just, it was really easy for people not to notice that third name on that final screen on the credits. You know, it was always a collaborative effort. People will say this is what Jim brought or this is what Sam brought, but they all saw what was great about each other and tried to put that all in the show. Sam was looking for writers to work on The Simpsons, and at the time, it was two days a week, it was animation, which nobody wanted to work in, and a lot of people turned down the job. He hired a bunch of guys who had never written a 30-minute script. John Swartzwelder and I said to him, admit it, you hired us because you couldn't afford real writers. He said, no, I didn't want people who had written a lot of 30-minute shows and picked up a lot of bad habits. It was going to be an animated show, but it was going to have the depth, or you know, we we're gonna try for something like the depth of the Mary Tyler Moore show. Jim Brooks, when I was growing up, that was the gold standard, and it is, of television, you know, Mary Tyler Moore and Taxi. And Jim hired Sam on Taxi, which is like starting right in the All-Star game. Sam had such a complete understanding of comedy. He always had the attitude of, we're just gonna keep making the show better. The thing we're never going to do is the thing we've already done. And the Simpsons will live for years and years, maybe past the planet Earth. <laughs> and it's funny, I was just watching the movie Midnight in Paris where they talk about the phenomenon of a golden age. We weren't going around saying, ah, this is the golden age. Truly, everything we say is a gem. It was quite the opposite. Conan stuck a caramel on the ceiling and it stayed there for two years, and then I ate a piece of it. <laughs> Nobody said, okay, this show's gonna go 26 years, we have to be able to do 600 episodes here. But the effect of a lot of what Sam did resulted in the show that could go 300, 400, 500 episodes and people would still watch it.